Circular economy is this fancy word that simply means that we're gonna do our waste better than we are right now. So if you think about, you know, a tree falls down in a neighborhood, that is a biological material that has a, a use case, it has a life cycle, what do we do with it? Do we just throw it in a landfill? What happens with that energy? Are we just letting it go into the air? Or are we using it for an adjacent industrial process? That's kind of what industrial symbiosis is or what people call byproduct synergies is the assemblage of companies or industries that can play off of one each other. So I can use your heat, I can use your feedstock. And the best example in the Blue River Valley of that is Missouri Organic. Missouri Organic is, if you haven't known, it's the major industrial composting facility in Kansas City. And they have adjacent to them the urban lumber company. So when a major storm comes and there's all kinds of yard waste, well, yeah, they use that yard waste to create compost. But maybe there's a massive tree trunk. They can't necessarily compost that. Well, they have a sawmill where they can cut up that tree and make beautiful tables with it. That's circular economy. We're turning waste into value somewhere down the chain. So what the circular economy aims to do is create the value, so extract a material, manufacture it, assemble it, and then retail it and use it. And then instead of throwing it away and destroy the value that we, we have created ourselves, is that we can reuse it and redistribute it. We can refurbish it, we can remanufacture it, we can recycle it. And therefore we introduce the product or, or what prior, prior was waste again into, into the market. And we start creating these closed loops from where we can all benefit because we don't need to keep extracting things from nature and, and keep uh, asking so much to our environment. I think technology has allowed us to do a better job of taking a deep dive at all these construction processes and decisions we make. And first of all, redesigning them so there isn't so much waste coming out of each of these individual processes. So that would change this diagram enormously at the first phase. But then for what does ultimately end up as waste from the collective uh, folks in the valley, if we can find, as Ripple Glass has done, a way to take, for example, all those plastics or all those tires and, and introduce a new process that returns them to useful products and extends their life uh, without creating more waste or releasing more carbon, that's a home run. And, and as, as we have all looked up and down the uh, Blue River Valley Industrial Corridor, and as it relates to the rest of the planet, it looks like the opportunities are rich for us to once again make this a center for innovation. The opportunities are enormous and with the knowledge of Guillermo and Stan and others, I think we can uh, introduce a lot of new opportunities behind which there's enormous opportunity for redevelopment and reinvention and revitalization of the communities that surround it.